Um, <clears throat> so welcome everyone. We are going to talk about all of our Ylopo seller tools today. And uh, just for fun, we have branded all of these products together under the name USS Ylopo. It stands for Ultimate Seller System. And so if you hear us talk about USS Ylopo, that's what it means. It's all about sellers. And, you know, Howard always reminds me and tells me this, 90% of our clients use 10% of our tools. And I went deep and looked at the, the tools that we have for sellers and the percentage of clients who use it. And it's not 10%, but it's shockingly low. <laughs> well, okay. I, I actually always say 75% of our clients probably only use 75% of our tools. I don't know. I don't even remember what I'm saying. Something you like that. You guys get the point, right? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. got a lot of stuff that most people are not. No, 75% yeah. of our clients are not using 75% of our tools. Okay. We have got so it. much stuff yep. that we were like, we're always like, hey, are you using this? Are you using that? Like, I didn't even know you had that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so what I want to call out today is kind of a, a high level of all of the features that we have um, available for sellers. And these are all features that have, in my opinion, the lowest usage rate that will really change your business. And so we're going to go through it step by step. Some of you who are really on top of it have already seen or are already doing this, but I know for a fact that most of you are not doing all of this, right? We can see it in the data. So um, today we're going to go through at high level, but we actually built out a complete portal for you on USS Ylopo. The URL is ylopo.com backslash seller tools. You're going to hear a lot about this page or this portal going forward. And in this portal, we have laid out for you all of our tools for generating listing leads, nurturing listing leads and winning listing appointments. And we not only list out all of the different features we have, if you click on the learn more button on each one of these, we have gone ahead and rewrote, this is Barry's masterwork, pretty much all of our wikis around this topic to go super deep with you about how all of these components work. And then once you understand how they work, how you can set them up, right? So- Well, and, and you know, one of the things, sorry to interrupt you, but when, you know, when we discussed rewriting these wikis, you know, a lot of times when you've got like a tutorial on how to do this stuff, it's, uh, it's on the admin. And so then the admin uh, need to read it and then implement it. The problem is we need the agents that are selling real estate, whether you're on a team or individually to use this so that you can win more listings and you can grow your business. Well, we rewrote these so that you can actually not just learn how, but learn what each of these are. And that is super important because you need to be integrating all these tools in your business, you'll hear Gabe and I talk about why this is not a a one uh, one like one facet of a problem when you're generating sellers. It's a multifaceted approach, and you need to be using all of this. I think that's huge. I know you want to get back into energy, but I think you know what I love about what I, Kiwi put together at the top. It really is this entire arsenal, right? And I think people are falling short when they're like, "I want more listings. I want more of this." They're going at it. I think too simple, and we have to be hitting them from all sides and it's not just one touch here, it's over and over and over. And I know we're gonna get into live examples, not just talking about these items, but literally showing you how this entire fleet of seller tools are what it takes to win the listing. Yeah, and and you know we get asked from clients all the time, oh, you know, tell me about Ylopo seller tools. And right now we go, go to ylopo.com slash webinar and go watch an hour and 45 minute webinar and then go to our wiki page and try to figure out on your own, right? This is obviously our own fault. And I can understand for clients, especially new clients and even existing clients who have been with us for a while, it's, it's totally overwhelming, right? And so the idea behind this portal is it's a checklist for you. If you go to ylopo.com slash seller tools, we are going to continuously update this website with every one of our Ylopo tools, right? So if you want to know, am I using everything Ylopo has to offer for sellers? Come to this site, look at every one of these boxes. If you're like, what are Facebook seller leads, right? You can click learn more to see what they are and turn them on, try them out, whatever is the case, right? So 
Um, that's the purpose of this portal. We're going to go through most of these components today, but I wanted to call this out as we're going to go through it at a high level. And if you want to drill down now to the details and actually implement what we've talked about, wellopo.com slash seller tools is where you're going to go. Hey, G, just to hey, G, uh, comment a on this later, because oh, we're going to get to this later. Uh, Bruce had a great, you know, sort of question. I know this isn't the tech call, but the Wellopo seller action plan and follow-up also references an initial text in the first email when an initial text doesn't exist, nor is there a drip with an initial text. So you can get into that and what's going on in the lead communication uh, later. That would be great. Sure. Yeah. Yep. And I was going to, I was going to hit the question that came into Q and A from Mazelle. Uh, is this going to be relative to the poor Canadians? Cause we know not all yeah. the tools work up there, but yes, yeah, stay with us. You may not have all of this entire arsenal up here, but you're going to have a, you know, a handful of them and you want as many as you can. So utilize the tools that you can. If others become available down the road, obviously we'll do everything we can to get those in, but you're yeah. going to want to stick around because a lot of this you still can use. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for Canadian clients, glad, glad, glad you brought that up, Gabe. Um, so we are going to do a separate wiki of what tools are available just for Canadian clients. Um, you know, the good news for Canadian clients is that the, the, so, you know, the main asset that we're missing there is the sold data and the ability to get ABMs and all of the rich data that HomeBot currently provides. There's more and more, um, you know, kind of boards in Canada now. Hey, that are releasing you can't yell anymore. I'm working. Leads. Okay. Hey, Barry, you. you're, you're not a mute. Um, so your, uh, we are, that data is being released by the MLSs right now. We are setting up vows for several clients. Um, obviously we have to test our way into it because there's different requirements there, but once that data is released far and wide, third-party data companies can then aggregate that data and then produce the type of AVMs, type of modeling that we use for HomeBot, right? So that is coming. In addition to that, Google local services ads, which we'll talk about in a second, is also coming to Canada. So there's more and more pieces that are being released for all of you. So I would stay tuned, but I will do a whole section just for Canadian clients. Huge. Awesome. Okay, let me get started here. Um, view. So the first thing I want to go over is lead generation, right? Like I get hit up about this every single day. What is Wailopo doing to generate seller leads? What are the hottest seller leads I can get right now in the market, um, et cetera, et cetera. And my answer to that is two things, seller pay-per-click ads and Google local services ads, right? So we're going to go through all of that. Now, before I, I, I start, I'll say that we actually are doing a substantial amount of social seller lead generation as well. Um, and I'm not saying that doesn't work, but at, at, we tell every client that is doing social for sellers that these are a lot of people who are long-term nurturers, right? They see an ad that says, what's the value of my home? And they complete that in order to just curiosity wise, know what the value of their home is. They're not, not necessarily looking to sell, you know? And so the nurture period is fairly long. And that's why the perception is, hey, seller leads on social doesn't work, right? I wouldn't necessarily say that, but it just takes a long time. For seller leads, intentionality is really important, right? So someone who searches on Google for what's my home worth is going to be exponentially more valuable than someone who registers on Facebook. And someone who calls you about selling their home obviously is even more valuable than that, which is what I'm going to talk about with Google LSA. And so we have invested a ridiculous amount of work in figuring out how to generate seller PPC leads in the best way possible. And I'm going to walk you through high level what that looks like and share with you the metrics. So in terms of seller PPC, what I'll tell you is that if you know anything about why Lopo PPC, you know that we focus on dynamic content, dynamic keywords, targeting at the neighborhood and subdivision level, all of this black magic that we applied to Google. What we find on the seller side is that people aren't looking for, you know, XYZ subdivision, you know, what's my home worth, right? Or market trends. They are looking up generic keywords like, 
uh, market trends in my area, what's my home worth, how to sell my home fast, right? So the list of keywords that we can target for sellers in PPC in your market is much more limited than buyers. Um, and, and to the degree that maybe our seller campaigns are you know, 10,000 keywords as opposed to 600,000 for buyer campaigns, right? And my guess would be that our competition and other people who are doing seller PPC, relatively speaking, are using the same exact keywords, right? Maybe less, uh, but you know, it's going to be close or on par. So then what are we doing on PPC that's different for you, right? Again, ad copy, all that kind of stuff. You know, we're all doing the same optimizations, right? What really sets Ylopo apart is our experience that we take consumers through when they come to our website our conversion funnel, right? This is one of the reasons that we have spent so much time and effort doing a great integration and partnership with HomeBot. We have found that HomeBot, because of everything it provides from a seller nurture perspective, is one of the most effective mousetraps we've seen for getting a consumer who is interested in selling their home to complete a registration form and become a lead for you, right? Um, in, in fact, this registration form today is generating leads at a conversion rate of 13.6%. That is wild. You know, normal home valuation experience, you'd be lucky to convert 7 to 8%. We're almost double that, right? And it's because of the value proposition we bring to bear. So a consumer comes in from a what's my home worth ad, they fill out their address field with us explaining the value proposition of what they're gonna get. They give us their phone number, they give us their contact, their email address and name. They answer a couple of questions regard, regarding where they are in the process. And at the end of that registration experience, we take them directly into their HomeBot report, right? Now, for those of you who are not familiar with HomeBot, um, you know, it is a report that gives comprehensive information about the consumer's home uh, in a easy to digest visual format, right? So not only do you get a estimated value of your home, HomeBot, on a, and this is unfortunately just for the US, HomeBot gets all of the mortgage data associated with the property so they can calculate values like what is the net worth of your home to you today? Um, what, it, you know, how much you paid to her interest and principal. Um, if you were to refinance what those rates would look like and how much money you would save. And, you know, if they were to use their equity to buy another home, what, you know, how much could they afford? It even drills down to if you were to put this home on Airbnb, what could you potentially earn? Right. So it's an extremely engaging report. And what, what, what I think is exceptional about this, and this is why we think the contact rate on these leads is very high, is that the vast majority of, you know, registration forms like this takes a consumer to a page that says, thank you, we'll contact you later. Right. Um, it's, it's the classic, you know, bait and switch. Here, we are establishing your credibility with all of this rich data that you're providing to them free and upfront, right? It allows you to have that great secondary conversation. So before I, I, I go any further, um, any thoughts Barry and Gabe about yeah. the registration? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I talked well, last, you go first, <laughs> you, you go first. So I, I really want to drill in what you just said. There was a lot of information, right? In this whole bot. And then at the very end, you're like, which gives you a lot of talking points. And I don't want that to get missed because we're going to hear, and we've probably seen, you know, we've all had those home valves where they're off or they're this or that. There's more than just a number on here, right? There's rental, there's equity, there's Airbnb rates. These are all things of, of value and reasons or the purpose of your call when you're reaching out when they do this versus just the, hey, did you see the home valve? There's so many other things to talk about, which is so great about what's getting put in front of them so that it's just not the same crap that every other agent is doing or saying. So I just want to make sure that everything you just said, what you're highlighting those offers are all talking points that when you're doing follow-up and prospecting, you're trying to get that listing appointment set that you can call and talk about that a lot of other agents aren't doing, or even if they have HomeBot, they don't realize they have all these other tools in there and then we'll get into it later, but then paired with our seller experience. 
And I was just going to say that, um, so we've listed, uh, I'm starting to lose count, to be honest with you, a lot of YLOPO AdWords. Uh, there's a post in YSC maybe three months ago where I, I kind of was very transparent. I said, look, we're moving our budget over primarily just to sellers. And um, it was a very scary moment. Um, but uh, the, the proof is in the pudding and, and we are listing these homes. But one thing about our PPC, right? So G said, um, you know, uh, optimization and all that stuff. Look, we have hired, they're technically contractors, but like mercenaries. <laughs> they, they're like optimizing and critiquing. And so this is why the, the ad spend or the, the cost per lead, you'll hear about what's happened and how it's gone down. These are actual people that own homes that want to know what their value is. And, um, and as, as uh, you know, those questions that we're asking as they're registering, what'd you say was the registration rate on the page? 12%? 13.6. 13. That's bananas. Um, those questions that we're asking, those become tags. And uh, the one we love, we love all of them, but the one we love the most is when they say that they want to sell their home for top dollar. We're all over it. So um, you guys should comment on this because someone pointed out like, hey, HomeBot doesn't seem to be very accurate in my market. Now, you know, I've always said that's an opportunity, right? So if, if you, you know, if you had, a, uh, you know, an automation, an automated valuation tool that was 100% accurate all the time, why do they need to talk to you, <laughs> right? So, you know, I've seen the most successful people turn it around and use it as an opportunity to say, to like reach out and to talk to the, you know, talk to the consumer, like, wait a second, that's not right. Like your home's gotta be worth more, you know, like let's talk about this, right? right? You get to an appointment to say, what's the unique about your home and why is it worth more, right? Because then they need you and you become the local expert. So, so Gabe, you look at your riffing on that. You uh, wanna comment on that? <laughs> I am, I was just like, I, I love it. In fact, I'm gonna show one later that literally says that, but my favorite script guys is if WebMD was 100% accurate, you wouldn't need doctors. Right. They just you're going to get some information online, but it's going to be all over the place. You don't know what you're going to get. That's why we don't rely on WebMD 100 percent. Right. You still go have your general care doctor or your specialist that specialize, whether it's a heart doctor, or whatever it is. Right. Use that as an opportunity. You hit it on the head. That is a talking point. And if they were accurate, they wouldn't need us. Have you ever experimented with like like reaching out to the consumer, like in a text would say, hey, don't you don't you think that that your your home was worth more than what HomeBot says? <laughs> like, you know, like or what were the tools saying? Like, like kind of like identifying with them and commiserating with them. Like, I wonder how that would work. Well, yeah, two no, things. I One, you know, I, I tell my team homes are selling above appraised value. Um, and so people are saying whatever the bank says it's worth, I'll I'll bring cash to pay over what the bank says it's worth. There is no model. Human appraisers are having trouble dealing with that circumstance. Surely a computer would. And so the tune your value is, uh, is one way to kind of look at that and adjust it. Um, but I think sometimes we get caught up in like how correct something is. Um, it is the best data you can provide uh, from an automated standpoint. But I think what we need to get caught up in is how much they need us. Right. Like this is a very I've been in this business 22 years. I've never seen a real estate market like this. They need you. And and the fact that the automated reports don't work, the fact that appraisers are scratching their head, they need somebody with boots on the ground. And that's you. What do you guys think about a whole nother webinar on Kiwi if you're listening? There's so many like crazy questions and we got to keep moving here because we got so much information to drop. There's so many questions here just about Wailopo and Homebot or about Homebot. I feel like it's time for another, because we've taken it to the next level. I feel like it's time for another, like, Wailopa plus Homebot, how to really exploit and use that tool to win more business. I think that's like, we, let's go deep dive and then and be able to answer, like, anything you want to know and answer a lot of these questions because it gets pretty granular, right? So I think it's a whole nother, that's a whole nother topic that we could go, go long on. What do you think, G? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Let's keep rolling. Cool. Yeah, so, so the punchline here is that on the seller PPC side, because of all the work we've done, our average cost per lead for sellers has dropped from around $50 average to right now this month, it's only $35. And that we've hit some days, which I think is going to drop even more next month, of $31 per seller lead, right? That's because the conversion rate, these are expensive clicks. These are 
three to five dollar clicks, it's because our average conversion rate has increased the 13.6 percent, right? Of the leads we're generating, 28 percent say they want to sell their home for top dollar and 10 percent need to refinance, which are obviously gold for all of your lenders. So I, if you, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of crazy and this is why we have these webinars, but only 206 out of our 25, 2700 clients are doing seller PPC right now. Right. Um, and so, you know, that's like 10, less than 10%, right? So well, this is something that you guys should definitely take a look at. That's because seller leads normally don't work. I'm just, I mean, look, I, you know, let's just, let's just call it like we see it. Okay. Normally you, you pay a company, they say they're going to generate seller leads and it just doesn't work. And so that's this comprehensive, you're going to hear me say it over and over, but this comprehensive approach to seller lead generation, seller nurture and seller conversion, it's like that trifecta that actually wins the business. Um, it's, it's, it's very much different than what the norm is. And to piggyback on that, it, it, it doesn't work because we're not hitting them from enough areas. Again, it's going back to that entire fleet of tools, uh, even at, you know, at, at, at Firepointer, when I was with, with Boomtown or any of them, it, it was hard to offer things because you're basically doing the valuation and you're putting them on a drip, right? You don't have Raya hitting them. You don't have remarketing hit them. You don't have home buy hitting them. You don't have also the phone calls and agents. And it takes all of that to really start to convert them. And, and that's why it doesn't work. That was hundred percent accurate because you don't have the right tech stack or tools backing you up to convert them. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. So um, that's seller PPC. Like I said, again, you can shift your buyer budget. You can try this out with new budget, whatever you want. It is available for every client that is level one plus. So you have access to PPC. You can do this, which is the majority of our clients. And the media minimum is $1,000. You get to spend up to $1,200 per level, but the minimum is 1000 right now just because these leads are so expensive and we want to give you some reps at it. We may lower that number over time as our CPL decreases, but that's just our minimum guidance right now. And, you know, we are not charging for seller PPC, just so you guys know, we've invested a ridiculous amount of technology here, but we're not going to charge for it. It is available for anyone level one plus at $1,200 per level, right? So if you want to get started here, just email marketing at ylopo.com and we will get you hundred percent set up, right? So the next thing I want to talk about is Google local services ads. So we have about 700, maybe 750 of our clients on already our Google local services ads beta. Highly encourage the rest of you either have your own account that you've set up, which is perfectly fine, or get set up. You know, it's, it's, I think it's kind of today, even though you might not get a lot of calls, would be ridiculous for you not to be on Google local services ads. It's so easy. And, you know, if you do get a good leader here, here or there, it's supplemental. And, um, you know, the cost is just really, really low, right? So there's just no reason for you not to do it. And I'll encourage everyone to sign up. And it's just Google, it's just ylopo.com slash ylopo.com slash LSA in order to sign up. So let me walk you through the product really high level, right? So a consumer, when they search for realtor in XYZ location, instead of seeing Google ads, which is what they used to see with text, Google now has a row of agents that show up directly that have been verified and screened by Google, right? So that means you had a license check, your insurance check, background check, all of this stuff. And as a consumer, I get to see the top three ranked agents and see their brand, their photo, the, and, and most importantly, their reviews, right? And as a consumer, you can imagine the vast majority of them don't scroll down anymore. They click on one of these faces. And when they click on that face, it goes to the agent's profile, right? And the agent's profile contains a lot of different stuff. But what's unique about it is their Google My Business page integration, right? So you all the stuff you do Google My Business show up in your LSA profile the most important of which are your reviews, right? So we'll talk about reviews in a second. The main call to action, and in most cases, the only call to action on these pages is to click and call this agent, right? So all of the leads you get from LSA, 100% of them are inbound phone calls, 
right? So think about how powerful that is, right? Now, with Google LSA, the other component to think about is, remember, there's only really two experiences consumer sees, your initial photo and profile on the screen and your advanced profile, you know, once they click into it, right? So the better you make this profile, the more, the more you're going to convert, right? And that means having a really good Google My Business page. If you have either a neglected page or you don't have one, once again, Wilopo can help you with that. But in either case, you need to have that in order to be successful, right? So that's kind of the one, two, three part of Google LSA. The benefit of Google LSA is that it's high quality leads, you're getting inbound phone calls. You don't chase the leads. They're high intent prospects, right? They're actually people who want to talk to you. So, and, and what we found is that the majority of them are sellers and the rest are relocation buyers, right? Because if you're a buyer in your local market, you're typing in homes for sale in Virginia Beach. You're not looking for a realtor. And, and finally, they're low cost and they're low cost for two reasons. The first is that you only pay Google when someone calls you. So it's not when your ad shows up, it is actually a physical phone call. And a lot of those calls are, you know, looking people looking for different services like property management or rentals, could even be someone looking for a plumber. A lot of your relevant calls come up and Google actually has the ability to refund you those calls, right? And we're finding over 40% of the calls agents receive are eligible to be refunded, right? So if you're not on the, you know, Johnny on the spot in terms of getting those refunds, you're wasting money. Now, Wilopo helps you with all of that, right? But these are just some important benefits of LSA. Um, this is a, yeah. a lot of great questions about LSA, some really- yeah. Some yes, ones. yeah. But, you know, really high level, there's, you know, great question here. Uh, by Eduardo that says, what's the benefit of doing this through Wilopo instead of doing it directly with Google? And I think that's a, just a really, yep. of all the questions, one of the most important questions. So at a really high level, because I know that I personally would never do it through Google directly. Like I would, knowing what we're building, right? And the tools that we're employing, I would definitely do it through Wilopo. But can you explain that? Yeah, sure. This is exactly what I'm going to get into. So we have had a lot of lesson learned from LSA and we have built a product and we are going to launch a product that I think is really compelling in terms of selling, it's, uh, you know, these pain points, right? First and foremost, getting set up in LSA is a massive pain for some clients. For about 35 or so percentage of clients, you have to manually deal with Google in order to get set up. The biggest trigger is if the ENO insurance the broker carries, it does not have the team leader or the agent's name on it. That's an automatic DQ, right? So we have to provide proof that you actually work for the brokerage and you're covered by the insurance manual process, right? So um, you know, getting set up can be a pain and that's something that we help you with, right? But outside of that, there's a couple of factors that you should consider. The first is that 40%, as I said, of the leads plus um, that are coming in are calls that should not be charged to you. These are calls that are relevant. They um, are looking for something else. It's a robo call, whatever is the case, right? And if these calls la last more than 30 seconds, Google's gonna charge you, right? So getting those calls refunded, really critical. The second is that- Hey, hey, really hey need G, real quick. Ahead. Hey, G, sorry, I wanna, I wanna cause there's a question about this too, and I really yeah. want to drive something home here. Um, is, and I think it was Heather, and, and I think it's a great question. I'm glad you asked this. She's like 40% refund. That seems like a large percentage of poor leads. Am I missing something? Guys, what we're missing is that 60% of these inbound leads are literally talking real estate to buy or sell. They're doing this since 2002 and an insane amount, tens of thousands of dollars a month in lead generation. I have never seen a product where it's an inbound lead that I only have to pay for if it's verifiable in the call recording yeah, that they're it. wanting to buy or list a home. Say that again. <laughs> it doesn't I exist. We have to pay for. Like there's no other lead gen. Like, because we're we're doing vetting questions all the time. All other leads, like Facebook, Instagram leads, Google pay-per-click leads, like 
you you do get a lot of junk, right? But you got to pay for all of it, yeah. right? And that's the funnel. And we get down to the funnel, right? Click, you know, <clears throat> how many clicks become leads and how many leads are qualified and how many want to go in the next six months. And we keep going the funnel. Yeah. Here, the cool thing is, yes, 40% are irrelevant. And when you work with us, <clears throat> we get them turned around right away and you don't pay for them. Bam. Well, guys, like well, I, I wish 60% of my online leads that I had to follow up were, were, were legit, right? Those are outbound. I'm incubating and fighting and fighting and fighting to get. We're saying what we're seeing is 60% of the inbound phone calls to your cell phone are people literally, and it's odd, right? When Barry answers the phone, it's like, hey, Barry, I want to list my house. Or, hey, Barry, I'm looking to buy a house. I'm in town for the weekend. It's weird to think they know you. So I, I saw a few people commenting on, are there a lot of crap? It's not. The majority of these are valid wanting to buy or sell and they're inbound calling your phone and why Lopo gets the other 40% refunded for you. So sorry, I just, I just wanna make sure that that yeah. was really clear because it looks like a big number, but but we're missing the the, the flip side. Of it. So let me tell you real quick, two, two, in the last three weeks, I've had two inbound Google LSA leads uh, go to a call dispense, you know, system. And one is an agent. He's part-time, doesn't know what he's doing. Um, he's a full-time occupational therapist and he's brand new. He just answered the phone. Hey, is Barry there? Oh, I'm his partner. How can I help you? Hey, I don't live in the area. I got to sell my house. There's a tenant in there. Okay. What's the address? Gives him the address. What's the tenant's number? I'll go stop by. He goes and stops by, says, I think I can sell it for yada, yada, yada. And he he lists it a week and a half later, an agent that's been on the team for six months gets a call. It's a gentleman that wants to sell his house, wants to know what the value is. The average sales price in my area is about 250. It was a $1.4 million listing and uh, she won the listing. And she, she, she's never, she was very scared too, by the way. She was like, you know, it's a million dollars. What do I do? I said, rich people want to be treated normal. And she goes in as green as they come, treated them normal and she won them over. But yeah. this is, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. And I don't know if you're seeing this too, Barry, everybody else, but so the one we just listed yesterday, uh, LSA, it was an agent. He, he has them on the buy side. They already bought something actually over in your neck of the woods and called up, said, hey, it looks like you guys are Google certified. Uh, I have a listing. Yes, there's a referral, but he's like, if you need anything helping on price, you want me to, you know, it was insane. I'll take it all day long. So now we actually, our last listing that's signed uh, was actually an agent using LSA and just picked us. So I mean, it, it, hands down, it's just, it's like nothing else I've seen and you're only paying for what you get. <laughs> that's crazy. Crazy. One of, crazy. one of my veteran agents actually said, it's so weird. I've just, I've been doing this a while and I've just never picked up the phone and, and the person just say, can you sell my house? He said, I love it, but man, it is the strangest thing. You know, that, that segues into the next thing I wanted to talk about. Given all of that, you would think that agents would pick up every single call that comes their way. <laughs> you would think that, right? Our average answer rate right now for all clients is 56%. So Google ranks you based on your responsiveness. I see a lot of questions that say, says, I'm a single agent, I'm in the area, how do I compete with the mega teams? Answer your calls. <laughs> That's number one, right? And so we have a solution in place for that, what I'm going to talk about in a second, but that rate really needs to be 80%. And for the clients that we see have a high Phone, up, phone number pickup rate, Google's will just rank you higher, right? So that's really important. The third thing is you've got to optimize your GMB page, right? 90% plus of the LSAs are linked to GMBs. And so if you don't have a GMB, you're already at a disadvantage. We can help you create one, by the way. But if you have a GMB, you want to make it look like Barry's GMB, right? Really professional, beautiful looking, having a ton of content. Right. So again, this is something Wild Lopo will help you with, but it, you should Google your name right now and your brand and look at your GMB and see how it shows up. Because a consumer who Googles your brand right now, they're going to see all of this on the right hand side and they're going to pay more attention to this than they're going to pay attention necessarily to the links. Right. So this is really important brand building at this point. And the last thing is you got to gather reviews. Right. Uh, what we find is if you have less than 10 reviews uh, total, you average, our clients average six phone calls. If you have over 100 reviews, which 
hey, I think any client of ours have had a hundred clients they've worked with in the past, right? In, in their career. And if not you, then your team, right? So you can just from your past clients get reviews. And when you have over a hundred reviews, you average over 20 calls a month, right? So there is a huge disparity uh, between those numbers. Hey, and well, G, on that right there to that single agent or those single agents saying that, how many of us have a handful of buyers, a dozen or more that want to buy that can't? We've been putting time in and helping. Those people can leave you reviews. They don't have to be past clients. If you're working with people, you're providing great service, ask them, hey, you know, this, this carries a lot of weight with where the market is today. As we're going, I would love a review. They don't have to be a past client. They can say you've been professional, you've been uh, available. So leverage that sphere and who you're working with. They don't have to be a past client yet. But the part of the challenge that I think the obtaining of reviews has been historically, you don't want to ask the wrong person to get the review. Like you don't want bad reviews. And so the review filter, it's, it's part of your current suite. And so if you go to your branded site and you go to your profile, you should see, if you have it, you'll see a write me a review. And four stars and above is the default. If it's four stars and above, they'll be directed to a page where you can give them the link to Google. If it's four stars or below, they have a form to fill out. And so basically the reason why that's significant is I've automated the request for reviews. I have no idea if my agent did a good job, but I'm asking and I'm providing a link that protects my reputation. And so it's a big deal. And this is all part of a big ecosystem. And those teams with 500 plus reviews Google prioritizes new reviews. So you'll be surprised, you know, if you get eight, nine, 10 new ones and the other guys got 800, but they're all a year old, you're going to suddenly start to come up. It, it does work that way. Yeah. And we're going to, by the way, I, I, you know, because we have a lot to talk about, um, you know, we're going to do a separate webinar just on LSA around the features that we're releasing for it, just because it's so important. Like I would like, we, we have 80, 90% of our clients using Raya, I would like to see 80, 90% of our clients using LSA as well, right? So we're going to do a huge webinar on this topic. But, you know, to answer the original question from Howard, here are the pain points why Lopo are going to sell with LSA, right? The first thing, and we're already doing this for you, is we listen to every phone call on Google LSA. I have a whole team in the Philippines. This is all they do. And they automatically dispute bad leads for you, right? So that 40% that are bad leads, you don't have to worry about it because you're not getting charged for it. Our team is going in and disputing all of those leads and you're getting a refund, right? So that's first and foremost. The second is we've got to get that 50% phone pickup rate to 80, 85, even 90% pickup, right? And, you know, I don't, we didn't think educating clients about this was enough based on the data. So we are actually beta testing and we are going to release to more and more clients throughout the month an instant response call center. That is where we are going to take every single lead that comes in. We're going to pick up those calls just for LSA. We're going to immediately respond, qualify that lead, either hot transfer it to the agent or send that lead into your CRM with all the qualifying notes, right? So this will immediately lift your call pickup rate, and that's going to increase the number of quality leads you're going to receive, right? So huge, huge development. We are integrating Google LSA into your CRM. So when a call comes into, you know, from LSA, we are going to deliver that into your CRM. The source is going to be Ylopo LSA. It's going to have the phone number of the lead and a recording, right? So right now, because you have to manual enter everything, you know agents are doing it. You have no idea how to track it. An agent can just take the lead and say it's their own. You have no idea, right? So we're going to eliminate all of those tracking issues and send it directly into your CRM. So there is a complete audit trail, right? So you're getting that. We are going to optimize your GMB, right? So we are going to actually, we have a whole team that are going to set up for this. They are going to go in, clean up your GMB, optimize it, add content, make it clean. If you don't have a GMB, we're going to set it up for you, all of that kind of stuff, right? And the last thing we're going to do is review collection automation. So Barry alluded to this. This is probably going to come after our release, our, our first release, but we are going to do it. The idea is, one, 
that we have a process for you to only collect the best ratings, right? So Barry, that was what Barry was talking about, our review engine. Um, and the second is because we have your CRM data, we can automatically send out a Raya text and email um, you know, on your behalf when a lead hits a certain stage, right? So if a lead goes to pending or closed, instead of relying your agent to email out or, or call them or get a review, boom, fully automated, right? And if you wanna do that for leads that are already in your database, we'll come up with a tag so that you can tag those leads for Raya to do the same. Right. So the whole goal is we want to massive. automate as much as possible the review collection process for you. Anything else to add here, guys? That, 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 is just, that is huge. I know there are a bunch of questions and we have so much to still get to. And I don't know why we always do these for an hour. We can never do it. <laughs> uh, tons of questions about the review link and all that stuff, guys. Um, we'll get in there more office hours on Wednesdays. We show this almost every week but we're gonna to have to keep moving forward. But yeah, this works for teams or individual. We can set it up, uh, your account manager can have it set up. So if you're a team of three or a team of five where they're all going, that's what we're doing with ours. All the review me buttons are going to our team account, right? So that can and definitely he said be it, done and your account manager can get it set up. And he said it kind of quick, uh, but we're gonna have a call center. Um, <laughs> he just was like, hey. oh, no, 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 call center. Hey. No, 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 no. Like, so, you know, and, and Gabe and I are teaching the call center how to handle the leads, what to say, how to send them to your CRM as far as logistically to where it makes sense, how it's autom automatically imported. Um, we've had several meetings with the team. I mean, it's it's a really big deal. You're going to have the power of a call center answering your calls for you. Right. So, and, and, and not even again, we're going, we're talking about that 60% that are great and 40% aren't. You're still going to get all those sent into your CRM. So if you want to put them into a nurture program, you can. And these are leads you're still not even paying for. Sorry, Howard. No, no worries. So, so Barry, what you're saying is instead of me, the white local client who runs a small team, having to think about or worry about having a call center, setting up a call center, setting up the technology and the software and the links to the CRM at the call center and the expense, the massive expense of that, white local will do it for us. And it's going to be a fairly low cost. Like, gee, what's it roughly going to be per month? The, the, the 90 yeah, I mean, the call center component is going to be just $99. So take my money, basically, take, <laughs> you're take my money, all of these answered. Yeah. And the rest of the Wailopo suite that you're seeing here, it's just going to be a $129 add on, you're going to get all of these features. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, man. I, can't take, I can't take my my family to sushi for like 99 bucks, right? But I can get a whole call. No. center. I'm in. I'm in, man. Yeah. Well, well and you so know, I want to say I want to piggyback on something how Howard just said though really quick. He's like, hey, all, all the single agents that are, you know, or small teams that are saying this solves it. I also want to talk to the large teams. I mean, Barry and I were just talking about this. Even when you have large teams and lots of people, there's little things that they do that are mistakes, right? Decline, sends it to voicemail, shows as a missed call. This this is a scalable offering, whether you're small, medium, or large, it's taking a lot of that workload off and just giving you the gold. It's insane. You know, and what's really cool for us, honestly, at Wailopa, because we, you know, G and I were always like, ah, oh, you know, do we have a call center? Like even before LSA, and we want to get involved with that. Like we know we're a marketing technology company. We want to geek out of marketing technology. And there's all these other like ISA companies and lead follow-up companies. But you know what? We're, we're, we're dipping our toe in the water. We're setting up a full-blown round-the-clock call center for everybody on uh, Google LSA. And I, I think it's really, really cool. We're, we're excited. And guys, believe me, like we have been working on this for a while. This is a seriously heavy technology lift. This is not just like, okay, poof, there's a call center. I mean, there's a ton of details we can't bore you with, but man, the integration details, the software details, the training, all of it, it's nuts. So we're, we're really excited about it. Well, and all these other calls well, that well, don't well. turn into business, um, uh, the, the, the call dispositions, they end up being tags. So, you know, you're going to have some people call your, uh, your, your ad uh, to get a job, right? And that'll have a tag and all like everything is going to be sorted because Gabe and I are OCD about database management. So it's all going to be really <laughs> tightened up. <laughs>
<laughs> and I want to clarify on something Howard just said. It was a, literally a personal Facebook message I just got and what Heather just to clarify. This is not an ISA service, guys. This is an inbound LSA call answering service, right? We're not, this is not an ISA service to call all of your other leads and all that. Yeah. It's an answering service to ensure that the LSA calls are getting answered and the good ones are being live transferred to you. So just to really clarify, yeah. all of a sudden I saw bing, bing, bing. Not yeah. an ISA service. This is an LSA inbound call service for the LSA clients. Think about your return on investment. I mean, even just the first two dimensions I think about. Number one, again, when it's not a relevant lead, okay, our call center right away can get the refund, right? So you're getting ROI there. And then as G pointed out earlier, when you guys don't answer your calls and it's like 50% of the time, right? it's penalizing the number of good Google LSA leads you can get later. So now when you get your phones answered 100% of the time, which the rest of the country who's not doing this through YLIPA will not, guess what? Now you're gonna get more bang for the buck. You're gonna get more Google LSA leads, which are incredibly valuable. The ROI for $99 a month is stupid, simple math. 100%. Awesome. Well, we'll save some of these questions for the LSA webinar. But yeah, I want to reiterate what Gabe said. This is not a outbound call center solution. We are not getting into that business at all. Um, this is solving a incoming phone call issue specifically related to LSA, right? Someday we might expand, ex expand this to any incoming call from Raya, period, we will handle for you. But that's probably the extent. We're working with only inbound requests, right? So I want to make that really, really clear. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. So high level Google LSA is an open beta. If you have not registered for it, you should do so. If you have an existing GMD or a Google LSA account, hold tight. We will integrate you in when we release all of these tooling. Um, that way uh, it saves you some time. If you've already set everything up yourself, we don't need to go through the process of getting it all on your platform, unless you want us to, we can certainly do that for you. Um, the average spend right now is like under 300 bucks, right? So this is not a high media undertaking. If you're a, a starter, you're even a tech only, you can go ahead and do this, no problem. So I would register. And if you email marketing at ylopo.com, they'll set you up or it's www.ylopo.com slash LSA, either way. So um, <laughs> before we run out of time here, I do want to talk about the mass upload into HomeBot. We have about 900 of our 20, call it 2,700 clients right now that has done a mass import of their existing leads into HomeBot. That's not good. You know, that should be close to 100% because everyone has past clients that they can drop into HomeBot, right? And Gabe, I think, wanted to share a story just coming in right inside his CRM of like what happened with a imported HomeBot lead. But high level, when you import a HomeBot lead or lead into HomeBot, you will get a seller alert sent to the consumer on a weekly or monthly basis, depending on your settings. It could be bi-weekly too, whatever. And that is going to give them a value of their home is going to show the market trends in the area and recently sold under contract and active listings that impact their home price, right? So this is about as comprehensive as you can get in regards to a seller alert. And this alert gets over a 50% open rate, right? So that is tremendous engagement for all of your leads. We don't just do that. Once a lead is imported, we do remarketing. So we're going to target this person. We're going to show them nearby sold properties that impact their home price. It's just like buyer remarketing, but it's for sellers, right? We do Diva branded ads. So we create custom branding videos with your brand on it. And these are videos that play 24 seven to everyone in your database that you imported, right? So bottom line is you want to import these leads. When they engage, we're going to send you a priority alert those priority alerts are the HomeBot leads that you should jump on top of. Um, and it, in order to import, mass import all of your seller leads into our platform, just go to ylopo.com slash HomeBot. 
there is the process is very straightforward. You send us an Excel file that you formatted with the address and contact information of the lead. We bring them in and we send out seller alerts to them, right? So it's a it's a pretty one two step from there. And I think the heart, the reason that a lot of agents haven't done it is that it's really time consuming to clean up your database. Um, but I mean, come on, if you don't have the time to clean up your past client database, then you're just missing out deals, right? So if you're already going to do that, just go ahead and submit it to HomeBot and we will take care of the rest. Um, yeah, uh, Gabe, do you want to share the, the, the example that, that you were just sharing with us? Sure. Yeah. And it was, it was really kind of a combination of starting with remarketing, but, but on that, I want to touch base a little bit on HomeBot. When, when, when G says clean up your data to get it on your past client, there's, there's not much needed in that template. It's basically, um, it, it's, it's really name, address, uh, uh, email address. There's very little that you need. Almost all of us have some sort of CSV Excel file of our past clients, right? So it's very little data that you need to do to mass upload all of this um, into there. So, hey, G, do you want to actually get, let's go, I'm going to wait a couple of slides. I want to get into where we're showing kind of the arsenal. Uh, if you don't mind with the remarketing and uh, and Raya and all that, then I want to show that example because I think it'll tie in well with that and kind of paint the picture of what we talk about. Yeah, it's a, a different slide. You're you're talking about the uh, USS Y Lopo. Yeah, yeah. I think when we get to that, I think it was, it'll make a little bit more sense. Are you talking about this portal here? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it was the one with remarketing. Yeah, the nurture part. Yeah, it's going to be the nurture one. So I don't know if you want to talk about this first or. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Perfect. So, so what I want to show you guys too, and, and, and again, when Barry said earlier, you know, hey, you know, a lot of people aren't doing this or spending the money on selling because they just haven't worked. And again, it's we're not hitting them from enough sides. And really this whole fleet of tools is what's making this happen. Right. And it's all starting with, you know, getting people, first of all, you got to get people into your database, right? Get them set up for remarketing so they're seeing your brand, right? Once they get into your database, they get into YLOPO and they register uh, via the remarketing or re-register, re-engage. That's what allows Raya uh, and the seller scripts that Barry built. And I'm gonna show you a live example uh, uh, here in just a second. She goes to work, engaging them, talking to them, asking them questions, uh, teeing them up uh, for the agent to reach out, uh, getting them engaged with HomeBot to where they're seeing that value, whether it's on or off keeping them going, asking questions again to get to that appointment. So what I want to share um, is, here it is. All right, so this is a, um, a real lead that came in. So we basically moved everything over to follow a boss. I'm just going to scroll down, make everybody dizzy real quick so I can start at the beginning of the story. So this is just a bunch of just calls when we were uh, in our previous CRM, brought them back in, got them set up into retargeting, remarketing, and within just 11 days, Boom, they re-register, the remarketing gets them to re-register as a seller. Uh, they fill out one of the questions, sell my home for top dollar, we love this. Raya goes to work, same day, sends out a few messages, we're at time read through all of them. Um, we just move it over because of the engagement to a different pond, our agent reaches out, uh, leaves a voicemail, uh, calls back a minute later, we like to do the double dial, actually gets them on the phone, it was a pretty short call, uh, he fills out an inquiry now based on what's going on, comes into the website. We have the ISA team hitting him, hitting him, hitting him. Raya's still going. We weren't able to get an appointment at this point, right? We're still a couple days after registration. I'm just going to forward through. These are just touch base. We're not even making connection, not making connection, not making connection. Uh, he called back, missed the call. Uh, Raya goes right back to work again. We try and we miss him. This is why you don't miss inbound calls, if at all possible. Uh, but what I want to hit is right here. Uh, up till just nine days ago, we were, weren't able to make connection. But as you can see, Raya, everybody's relentless. Uh, just ask again, are you planning on listing? And this is what I love about the home bot, right? Uh, uh, Raya asks, do you want us to send you an updated market analysis? Uh, and he's like, not the way off one I got online, right? Again, like Howard said, Barry said, I said, this is a talking point. No obligation. I'm not sure. Raya keeps going. I love this rated on a one to 10. He responds as a nine. Sounds great, maybe a 10, we're moving. We got everything they're talking back and forth. It triggers the priority alert. The agent sees it, has a 10 minute conversation, sets the listing appointment with him. Um, it was last week, he was out of town. We confirmed it, uh, sent the email. 
I'm just going to scroll up. We had a nine o'clock appointment this morning, uh, walked in. He went from, it wasn't in a hurry. I'm going to be moving someday. We walked in the door this morning. This was with one of our newer agents. And um, basically it's like, I bought a house this last week in Hawaii. We need to sign something today, get it on the market by next week, close by June, right? And what I, what I love about it, this was remarketing. This was, this was, let me show this one more time. Sorry, guys. And, and we were generating new leads as well, but this lead registered on our site, it'll be four years tomorrow, May 21st, 2017, it'll be four years tomorrow, just because we uploaded everything. And this is just one of many, right? I've got all my home bot engaged smart list here. Like here's another a hot lead that we've got a listing appointment on that registered three days ago. It's working, but it's because we're hitting them from all sides. This lead took remarketing. It took Riot. It took multiple phone calls. It took HomeBot, which he didn't like the value. He said that way off value I got online to then setting an appointment to come in and show him what the market's saying. So it works, but we have to hit them from all areas. Sorry, I know that was supposed to be fast and I went too long, but it just shows the power of the USS and what it needs to do to do it. And if you add up the time that we spent on those phone calls, it was like three and a half minutes. The rest of it was all automated. Yeah, this this really leads well into the next conversation, which is that Barry completely rewrote Raya to support sellers, right? I mean, it was like, what was it, Barry? 600 lines of, of scripting that you wrote? Well, 600 on the drip side, another three or 400 on the conversational side. So once yeah. they respond, how she manages the conversation. So it was a lot. It was a lot of... Uh, especially for a guy that didn't like English in high school. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's super dialed in. Um, it's yeah. working. I think the AI team said it's uh, the current iteration is the, the engagement and engagement to appointment um, engagement to not having an agent is the highest they've ever seen. So it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. And I have the stats backing that, that up right now. Let me just kind of share that. But um, I think what you saw in that example that Gabe gave you is that, um, you know, Raya was able to take a pretty difficult conversation, right? And have a whole dialogue before, you know, Gabe's agent took over, right? And so sometimes you just have to trust that the system knows what it's doing. And most of the time it does. And what we're seeing with Raya is a 10% improvement on initial contact rate. Pretty nice, right? That the leads that are being marked as not interested, so they kind of bail, they don't want to talk to you, has improved by 27%. Pretty good, promising, right? The most important value is the leads that are marked as ready for follow-up by an agent has jumped by 35%. That's huge, right? Huge, huge improvement. So all of this, this part, fortunately, if you do seller lead generation, you import in mass import in your leads, you auto import in your other sellers, uh, this all runs automatically for you, right? You don't have to do anything here, but it is a substantial part of the USS. Um, so because we're over time here, um, last thing is winning listing appointments, right? So Barry, can you really quickly show everyone the tools we have inside mission control around this? Absolutely. So uh, right now, the way that it works, admin have access to your mission control. So you have to have admin rights. Um, what my agents do is when they get a listing appointment, they email our marketing team and they say, hey, I've got a listing at 123 Smith Street tomorrow. I need uh, the seller report. And so then the marketing team that has admin access, they click this generate seller report button. And, um, and it does this four page report. And what we do with this four page report is we, we do our regular listing presentation. And then we, we bring this document, we actually print it out and have it in a separate folder. Uh, the reason for that is we say, look, we've already contracted one of the most or the most advanced uh, digital marketing firm for real estate agents um, to market your listing. And we had them pull a diagnostic report and when they did that, you know, yeah, you know, quarter of a million people have seen my ads, um, you know, uh, but, you know, I've got 48,000 people shopping for a home on my website, but, you know, uh, this is the marketing plan. These are the ads we're going to be running, um, you know, uh, and, and we already scanned our database. And when we looked for buyers in your area, in your price range, uh, we found 3,292. Now, 
we have to downsell this. That's not believable. So we're, we say to them, look, um, uh, I'm not saying I have 3,000 buyers. What I'm saying is I've got 3,000 people that are expressing interest in a home like yours. An advantage of hiring us is that we're going to tell them about your house. Now, um, before the current iteration of this market where homes sold by themselves, uh, that was that won it. Now what we have to do is we say the same stuff, but then we add, it's the difference between you getting four offers and seven. And the difference between four and seven means we have even more leverage, less closing cost, less repair request. You can close whenever you want to close. You have more options. By the way, here are their names. If you'd like me to gray uh, to get the phone number and email, um, uh, you'd have to hire me. Um, and, and just so you guys know, that's the reverse lookup button. The other thing we do now is um, the Diva Listing Rocket. So Diva Listing Rocket, right? Uh, it's a $65 ad. You're able to spend some money, get thousands of people to look at the listing. Again, you know, do you need this to sell your home in most markets? No. Do you need this to set yourself apart from the other agents in your market? Yes. And so this particular report has been designed to show how your marketing is truly different. So uh, this, this ad's been running, I think we've only spent $20. 1,600 people saw the ad, 1,000 people, let me zoom in, 1,000 people watched the video, 70 people actually clicked it to, to see more, and then there were five people that actually registered to see more information. Um, here's an example of an ad. This was just sold, so that was good. Um, and then this is uh, you know current market analysis, just a quick summary. And then this um, list hub and other uh, vendors like Zillow and realtor.com used to have this and they don't anymore. Uh, and what we've done is for your, for our clients, we're going to show you the number of times buyers saw your house on our website. We're going to show you the number of times that we actually emailed listings and included your house in those listings. We also are going to show you the number of times that people engaged your house on our website. And this data is important because you want to know that my marketing is working. And now we're going to be able to do that at scale. And then finally, this is who I have looking for a home like yours right now. And I want you to know that we are telling them all about your house. And uh, you can rest assured that if you hire me, uh, this is what I'm going to do for you. So um, nail in the coffin. It, it crushes. This is very, very, very different than what everybody else is bringing to the table when they go to a listing appointment. Awesome. Awesome. <clears throat> um, well, Gabe, anything else to add on the winning listing side? No, you know, I'll, I'll raise my hand and, and fail, right? We thought we were going into an appointment recently where it was just a meet and greet. They're for sale by owner. We just want some FaceTime. And after conversation, having exactly what Barry just had, which takes seconds to pull up as he just showed you, is, is money, right? So just look at every opportunity as an opportunity. It takes seconds the way Wailopo did this to print it off, put it together, whether you're going to have a hard copy, the PDF to just have on an iPad uh, and just and just show it. I mean, it, it literally is so fast to, to run this stuff and just do it. And it's super inexpensive. Uh, and, and this, I mean, it, it's crazy. I it just, you just, you just have to get in here. If a lot of this, you've been with us for a while, this isn't tools that you have to upgrade to get, you have this, if this isn't familiar, come to office hours on Wednesday. We show you guys every week how to use this. Um, it's at your fingertips. You just have to implement it and put it into your arsenal to, to win these listings. Somebody was asking about how to do it. This is just an example. You just click generate report on the listing rocket. That's dynamic video. That's all. Yeah, and and this is why we built out ylopo.com backslash seller tools. So let me bring that up again. You'll notice that for every one of these features, like a mass import, we actually link you to the most relevant article in our wiki, which Barry rewrote. Um, and so if you want to learn about any of these features and how to set it up, how to do a mass import, what does it look for, blah, 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 what is seller PBC, just come into ylopo.com seller tools and we will give you a step-by-step -step guide, right? So this is your checklist to see if you are doing all of the things that we talked about on this webinar.
Well, and Gabe and I also in those wikis, um, we, we, it's a short paragraph and we just wrote um, power user tip. And so this is where we take the product or um, the idea and we're like, this is something we currently are using this for. And so it actually puts feet to the product. So definitely it's not your normal wiki. We really tried hard to do that. So definitely check those out and look for that power user tip so that you guys can implement into your business immediately. Awesome. Cool. Well, in the interest of time, um, we will end the webinar there. Um, thank you for all of your guys' patience. Um, you know, once again, if I were you, I would do three things for sure, right? I would import all of your past sell clients and, and any seller leads you've ever generated into HomeBot uh, and our integration for seller alerts. I would get set up on Google LSA and start running that. And then if you have the budget, either take it from your buyer budget or spend new budget, get on seller PPC and try out those leads because that's your direct vein of sellers that actually scales, right? Like if it works, you can spend more do dollars and get more of those leads. Any closing thoughts? And uh, we, will, we will go ahead and end this. Just implement, guys. We all want sellers right now. We're saying it. We're saying it. We just spent an hour and 11 minutes giving you options and tools to not just get uh, listing opportunities, but to win those opportunities. So it's just really uh, taking a few minutes. Uh, sometimes you just have to slow down to go faster, stealing that from, from somebody else in my life. But you guys, you just have to slow down and implement. We just gave you step by step in all these tools. Take a few minutes. Give yourself that advantage moving forward. Yeah, and I, um, you know, I, I lost my shirt in 2008, waiting for everything to go back to normal. So this time around, I'm not doing that. I, I hope things go back to whatever normal is for you. But for now, I know there's not enough listings. And so I got to find them. Um, and so if I was you, I would go to ylopo.com forward slash seller tools. I would start at generate and I would read through each of those. They teach you what to do with them, how to implement them. Then I would go to nurture because to me, nurture is like very different now um, because it actually keeps homeowners in your ecosystem using your stuff. And, uh, and then winning the listing appointment, Gabe and I did a class. It's in there. You just click it and watch it. And, um, and so become an expert on that website of all that information and you will win listings. I am, Gabe is, many other users are. Awesome. And there were more questions that we could than we can answer for sure on this webinar. Um, obviously, you have the page, you can go look at it, but anytime ping support at wilopo.com and we can schedule an appointment with you with your account manager to go through these features in depth. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate all of you guys hanging in there. We've got a lot of people on this webinar and uh, we know this topic is very important and we're going to keep releasing seller tools all the time. So watch out for those announcements. And LSA, for those of you who asked, probably will do a webinar on this in June, I would say. And um, uh, we will release this on a beta basis to our clients, I'd say in July. So pretty soon coming up here. Awesome. Talk to you all later. Bye. Up with everybody. Thanks, guys. Sellers. Yeah.